An accused animal hoarder who was on the run for over a month will stay in jail. Thanks for watching News Channel 95. I'm Calvin Snead. And I'm Latricia Thomas. News Channel 9's Brianna Arredondo was in the courtroom for that hearing. She joins us now with what's next for Jeffrey Peterson. Brianna. Calvin, Latricia, Jeffrey Peterson turned himself in on Monday after he eluded authorities for more than a month. And we first told you about Peterson back in December when authorities took dozens of animals from his Sequatchie County home. And today, he spoke only through his attorney. This man, at the center of at least two investigations, finally sees a judge after more than a month on the run. Yes, Judge. I'm, I'm here for Mr. Peterson today, and I've spoken with Mr. Strain about this matter. Today, Jeffrey Peterson's bond revoked in Sequatchie County for animal cruelty and felony drug charges. It all started when officials raided Peterson's Dunlap home back in December. They took away over 60 dogs, cats, and other animals, some dead in freezers. Since then, investigators searched his Hamilton County Hormone Clinic in another home, then tacked on elder abuse and other animal cruelty charges. Later, he disappeared, a warrant issued for his arrest, ultimately leading up to this. I come in at lunch, he was staying out in the parking lot with his two lawyers. I asked him no questions because his lawyers were present, and I haven't asked him any questions since he's been incarcerated. I'm glad he turned himself in because, you know, he was... Uh, Pretty high profile with all the news media coverage. But Peterson told them nothing about where he was this entire time. I, I was aware from Mr. McGowan that he was going to surrender himself, but as far as any agreement, um, any discussion beyond that, Mr. McGowan said he was going to turn himself in, and I don't know what, what motivated that. While Sequatchie County has priority over Peterson for now, Hamilton County authorities also need to deal with its charges against the accused hoarder. Obviously a higher profile case, and I haven't talked to anybody in Hamilton County about it, so we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And Peterson is due back in court on April 28th for his preliminary hearing, which is expected to be a bit long. His attorney, Ben McGowan, says that the court order to get his father, Walter's statement, is still pending. And that's who Peterson and his mother, Sheila, are accused of abusing in Hamilton County. Latricia. All right, Brianna, keep us updated on that case. Thank you.